What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I've partnered with LG to show you what I've transformed my office into. I used to love going to the theater, but we all know that times are crazy right now, so I wanted to bring that same experience home. So I've turned my home office into a full-fledged entertainment setup, so let me show you around and talk more about this clean 120-inch setup, and then I want to give you some advice if you're trying to build something like this yourself in your house. So let's go ahead and get started. We will talk more about these sneakers on the wall. I know a lot of you are intrigued, so I wanna talk about that. But the star of the show is this theater set up here. TVs are fantastic, but there's nothing like the viewing experience on a screen this large. I was looking at two choices when building this setup, a traditional projector, which I'm sure you're very familiar with, and that is cost effective, versus a sleek ultra short throw projector setup, which looks super clean. The great thing is they both have similar features with 4K resolution and HDR10 support, plenty of ports to build your dream setup. There are a few differences with the ports between the two, but plentiful on each side. Some of the best software in the business with LG WebOS. The Magic Remote is one of the easiest remotes to use with Google Assistant or Alexa built into the remote for easy smart home access. And all of your streaming apps are built right in like YouTube, Netflix, and Hulu. So no matter which one you pick, you'll have a very familiar experience. So most of you are familiar with the traditional projector form factor. This is the LG HU70LA. I've had this for the last year and it's been perfect so far. Let's go over some of the differences between the two. If you're looking for the largest picture, then this might be the way to go because it projects up to 140 inches, which is insane. But I still think that 100 inch to 120 inches is the sweet spot. It does take some prep to install one of these projectors properly, especially if you want to mount them to your ceiling. You may need a professional to come in and add a power source if you don't have one, and to run all your necessary cables like audio or HDMI in the walls. You can get these mounts really cheap on Amazon, they're really easy to put on. Depending on the size of the projection that you want, you want to make sure you have enough room. So I say a good golden rule is to have your screen 10 feet away from your projector, but it may vary, it all depends on the setup. But a huge advantage of the traditional projector is that it's portable so you can take it anywhere making outdoor movie nights possible. You can get an affordable screen like I have here. This one is from Amazon. This was below 200 bucks and move it from indoor to outdoor. These nights are always fun to do with the kids since we are at home more than ever due to the madness. It's always nice to switch it up. All you need is a power source, which is easy if you're in the backyard, but if not, you can pick up something like this Anchor Powerhouse that will power you through a few movies with an AC plug and pair that with a nice Bluetooth speaker and it's a great experience that won't break the bank. So this is probably the route that most people will take because this experience is solid all around and it's versatile. The Ultra Short Throw, while being more expensive, is an amazing setup. This is the major difference. Look at how close the projector is from the screen. You only need to be 2.2 inches away from a wall to give you 90 inches or 7.2 inches away to get a 120 inch screen. This gives you the benefit of a familiar setup like a TV with easy access to all of the ports so you can connect whatever you want like your game consoles. You can set it up on what you already have because the HU85LA Short Throw looks so clean. I love the design with the woven fabric on the front. This is probably the first projector that I can say that I don't mind seeing this out being in the open. You can project it to a blank wall and it looks great still, but to really take advantage of it, you probably need a screen like this by Stuart Film Screens. This one is specifically made for ultra short throws with a lenticular structure to reject ambient light to give the picture the optimal color and contrast. You can see it behind me, it almost looks like a matte computer monitor surface. I was under the impression that high-end screens don't make a real difference, but it really does. The sharpness, the colors, and the overall picture quality is on another level with this screen. I wish I didn't have to send this back, I'm really bummed about it. This was only brought here to show you the best experience with this setup. I do love how there are adjustable feet at the bottom so you can get that perfect tilt if your surface isn't exactly flat. I do have to admit it does take some work to get that picture perfectly aligned on the screen, but there are built-in tools that are on the projector to help you do that. I don't have it completely perfect so don't judge me. If you're going to get an ultra short throw, the ultimate setup move in my opinion is this Salamander Designs AV cabinet. This one is specifically made for this projector so you can get a super clean and seamless look where the projector sits flush inside. This setup is 120 inches and since this projector uses a lasered lamp, the 4K resolution looks insanely sharp and is brighter at 2700 ANSI lumens. So even during the day with ambient lighting, I'm able to see just fine with the combo of this and the Stuart screen. The projector is fairly quiet so it doesn't get in the way of the movie experience. There are plenty of options in the settings to get that perfect picture. The presets are a good start but you can really dig deep and calibrate it to your liking. 
HDR is a mixed bag when it comes to projectors, but this is some of the best HDR that I've seen on a projector so far. I'm really happy with the way that this setup turned out. So let me know, are you thinking about building a home theater because of all the crazy stuff that's happening in the world right now? And if you are, I'm gonna leave a link down to both of the projectors so you can check them out and get more information on them. And if you end up building a home theater, then let me know in the comments if you're team traditional projector or team ultra short throw. When using the HU70LA for audio, I use the LG soundbar that I've been using for a year, and I would recommend this because audio is just as important as the picture. Of course, you can always go bigger with the center channel, big tower speakers, but for the general public, I think a soundbar is gonna be just fine because it really does sound incredible. When using the Ultra Short Throw, I decided to try something different. I used two Amazon Echo Studios. I linked them together in the Alexa app and put them through a Fire TV 4K. And wow, let me tell you, this is a pretty great audio experience. You can even get Dolby Atmos support if you set it up this way. And even if you're not setting up a theater, try this on your TV setup. I think you'll be pretty surprised. The lighting is by Philips Hue. I have three Hue play bars in the back with an HDMI sync box. This is how the colors are shifting along with the content that you're seeing on the screen. You can make this as intense as you want or as subtle as you want. It's really easy to set up too, so let me know if you wanna see a full video on this. This is something that you thought you didn't need, but you need it. The seats are by Valencia Theater Seating. This is the Zurich model. You might have seen this on a prior video. It's got a nice leather finish. Love the stitching finish on the headrest. Power controls are on the right with lumbar support and headrest adjustment. And there's a blue LED light strip built in to give the chairs that glow if you like that. The cup holder is a nice size and the armrests have ample space for remotes and other things. There's even USB ports built in so I can charge my phone while I'm watching a movie. These are some awesome seats. I've been using them for almost a year now. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below so you can see all the different styles that they make. As promised, we'll get to the sneakers. The number one question that I get all the time are these shelves. These are Ikea lac shelves. They're super cheap, easy to put together. You can pick those up at Ikea and they are great for sneakers. Let me go over some of my favorite pairs. The White Whites, UNC's, Chicago Jordans. These are probably the best three pair that I own when it comes to a collection. We have off-white 90s, 97s, and we also have some dunks here. We have blazers. We have a newer pair. We have the sale off-white fours. Whew. Of course, dunks are huge right now. Chunky dunkies. Man, one of the best collabs. The detail is insane. Then we have the Travis Scott SBs, and we have the Strange Love SBs. Man, details also phenomenal on this shoe. We have green gums right here. Then we have the latest Safaris, which I'm really digging as well. And one of the Ray Guns here. I'm trying to complete this collection as well. So Dunks, probably number one on my list right now. And then we have Sean Witherspoon Air Max Classic. Para Air Max Classic. I know a lot of people are done with the Yeezys, but these two are absolutely classic. We have Moon Rocks and we have Turtle Doves. Travis Scott 4s, can't go wrong with these. Spider-Man 1s, but got tons of creasing in these because I wore the mess out of them. And we also have the Justin Timberlake Tinkers. Almost forgot about this one. Air Max 90 Cone Blue Off-White Collab. Man, these, if not one of the best off-white collabs, I love this shoe. Kith Aspen 4Ds. This is a dope React and also homage to home down here. Travis Scott 1 Lowe's. This is what's in rotation right now. Also some new pickups. We have the Jordan 1 Biohack here. Also the Bear Brick Dunks. And we have Powder Blue 3s. Shashiko Dunks. Sambas. And these are pretty dope. These are an older pair of SBs. These are the Game Royals. They've been out for a long time. I had to buy these on StockX just because these are an older pair, but I'm trying to get some vintage SBs in and these right here. Chicago SB Dunks. Wow, these are incredible. What do you think? What are your favorite pairs that I showed you today? And also, are you a sneakerhead? Leave a comment down below if you are into sneakers. So I'm very curious, I wanna know from you guys, what do you think about the 120 inch entertainment setup that I have here? What would you change? What do you like about it most? And do you wanna see a full sneaker tour in the future? Because this is just a little part of the collection. 
Thank you to LG for sponsoring this setup. There will be so many more like this in the future, so make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.